So, bestie, let's pack your stuff! Yay! I'm not moving alone. Say hi to my family! Hurry up! Great! Everyone is here! <laughs> Where is my family, then? La 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 la! I'm coming! It's challenging without a horse! Let's, Let's go, go look, look at, at our new houses. houses! Yay! Hi, I'm Susan! Today I'm gonna show you our best places! Follow me! Here is the first cozy house! What, this one? It's not our style at all! Take it away, please! What about this haunted manor? Oh no, it's too spooky! Yay! We finally found what we need! We'll take it! We love this house, it just needs a few adjustments. Sam will rock this task! We have everything we need, right? Yeah! Don't worry, princesses and princes! We're gonna make everything to your taste! We Can't wait for the housewarming party! First, we'll choose the color of the walls! Vampires love it gloomy and mysterious! And fairy tale princess's house is gonna be bright and lively! Now we should decorate the windows in the window frames! And don't forget about the front door! Sam, look! It's much faster with the right tools! <laughs> hey, I want to try that too! Can we share? <laughs> no problem! I'll finish it manually! Thanks, Susan! Now my construction will go much faster! Done! The finishing touch! Knock, knock! We can receive guests! Let's see… Oops! It's empty inside! Uh-oh! We have to hurry! They're coming to look around! Yeah, yeah we're, we're coming, coming to help! help. <laughs> Make way! Make way! Beep beep! The furniture delivery service is here! Why have I dragged it all by myself? Ugh! <laughs> so let's start with the bedroom decor! Princess's rooms is gonna be sparkling and bright! And vampires love nighttime! And some mystical decor, too! Here is the bed! Hey! It's not the one that I've ordered! It's some delivery service mistake! Shall we just exchange them? That's better! This bed fits my room style perfectly! Awesome! It's time to bring more bedroom decor and a crib! Hey Sam, do you want to swap rooms? Check out how cool mine is! No thanks! I like my designs more! What about our viewers? Give us a thumbs up! Now you've seen the bedrooms! Let's move to the bathrooms next! Let's switch to the… Ah! It's a ghost! <laughs> that might be a helper! Look, the rooms are almost finished! We'll finish them up! Wow! It's a whole bunch of makeup products in here! No, no, no! Just look at my room! The royal palace design is in trend now! Let's start decorating the kitchen! Oh, I want a snack! Ah! Shoo! Shoo! <laughs> it's my little friend come to visit! Sorry, Sue! Hey! You've got a spider there! Ah! No! Ew, go away! I need to go to the paper grocery store! Shall we speed up? So, what do we have here? The living room! Aha! Uh -huh, this room is gonna be perfect for the royal balls! And my living room can accommodate even the biggest monster party! Let's see which one is better! Oh, I might be a bit lost. What's in here? Hey, don't peek! See you later! Phew, I'm finished! Are you done yet, Samantha? Yep, I'm all done! Just check out our big paper houses! Let's greet their new owners! <laughs> Princess's family is finally moving into their new home! Knock knock! We've arrived! Shall we come in? Yeah, sure! It's all finished! Please suit yourself! <sighs> Royal family is tired after moving in! It's time to go to bed! You'll have the sweetest dreams under this warm fluffy blanket! Good night, you two! 
Hush my baby, sleep and don't cry. Have the sweetest unicorn dreams. This puppy wants to sleep with his family too. Tuck over the blanket, quick! Let them have a good rest. And while they will be dreaming… We're moving to the vampire house! Oh, they're landing! Here is Mavis' family. You're welcome. Let's start the tour from the bedroom! Come inside, don't linger there! Huh? A bedroom? We're vampires, we don't sleep! Oops, my mistake! Then let's go wash up! Hygiene is a must! Just look at that! Princess's family is still sleeping tight! And my monster family has already freshened up! <laughs> Ooh, is it time already? I'm so tired, really! I want to sleep. Can we lay down a bit more? No way! The sky is high and blue. Time to get up! So let's brush your teeth. And comb your hair. Rapunzel goes first. Then the baby. And Flynn, too. Our Rapunzel needs to head to one place. Come along! Hi, bestie! Hi! So shall we start our morning routine? With great pleasure! Mavis has her own beauty routine. She brushes her hair and puts on some perfume. It's a must. Our princess is coming along! Just don't forget your favorite crown! Ugh, I almost forgot to eat something. What do we have in here? Ah, it's empty! What am I gonna do? Hi, honey. Dennis and I walked to the supermarket. We knew you'd be starving. Wee! My heroes! <laughs> we'll finally eat! Eat the food in the microwave. And our vampire family can have their breakfast. Mm, yummy! It's so good to be a princess. Your food will be served right away. The meal has arrived! Mmm! It's the best cake I've ever eaten! Little princesses can have some sweet milk. Enjoy! Hi, neighbors. May I come in? Sure! We're glad to have guests. I'd love to have a piece of cake, too. So, we had dinner in the royal palace. Then Rapunzel is welcome to the monster party in our house. We're ready. Let's go and scare away the locals. <laughs> <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's go! Ooh. Ah! Ah! Sweetie, is it you? It's time for a photo shoot! Oops, I need to go! We should do that again sometime! Phew, seems like we're on time! Come here, buddy! Sit still! And bring the baby, too! So, are you ready? Say cheese! Hey, is anyone here? Will you keep my secret? Okay, then. Check this out! It's my tiny dressing room! <laughs> Aha! Luckily, I followed you! Wow! You have a real fashion house here! It's hard to hide anything from you! Pick what you like! Hmm, I've worn that. And this is last year's collection. Is there anything not pink or cute? Help! We, we don't, don't have, have anything to wear! wear. Don't panic, girls. Your personal designers will come up with something, right? Sue and Samantha's paper tailor shop is open now. We're gonna create a personal dress collection for each doll. Imagination's on! Edgy and bright outfits for Rapunzel and a goth punk style for Mavis. I can't just pick one! <laughs> My mistake. That's better. Now let's start coloring! Wow, you're doing great! I love it! Ooh, thanks! I love yours too. Shall we swap for this part? Great! I always wanted to try something new. Awesome! Now let's pack all the clothes for the fitting! 
Make way! Fashion cab is coming! Mavis decided to try a new style. Wow, let's see! Actually, it looks good! What do you think? Hey, can you not push, please? Sorry, it's a tough call. What's better, a pink or a red one? Ladies, let's not fight. You're heading to a cool party, so get dressed! Yay! Do you like their outfits? Give us a thumbs up then! Oops, we forgot about the shoes! Let's rush to the mall! Which ones are the best? Black or deep black? I'll buy these! Our dolls finally finished dressing up! Do you like their outfits? They're not ready yet. They need some bright makeup for the party! The first step is cleansing. Let's prep their skin for the makeup. Let's start with their eyebrows. Wow! Check this out! Put some blush on the cheeks. And her face brightened up immediately! She looks gorgeous! Achoo! Haha, <laughs> bless you! Bright eyeshadows will complete the look. A few touches of the brush. What a sight! And a finishing lipstick touch. It looks incredible! Would you choose one of these looks for the party? I'd defo say yes! Hold on, I want to change my hairstyle or hair color! What do you think about the middle length? Should I get curls or blonde hair? My husband will be shocked! The last accessory is a stylish bag! Rapunzel and Mavis are ready to make an entrance! We've got a lot of outfits! Shall we make a runway? Yeah, it's a great idea! <laughs> Wow, these jeans are so cool! It's a perfect fit! The new hairstyle suits her so well! This outfit is right from some teens magazine! The belt is standing out! And she changed her hair! These heels are awesome! Who wants a pair? And I can't take my eyes off this bag! What a nice day! We defo need to do this again sometime! Sure! I'll see you soon! Bye-bye! Hi everyone! Today we will celebrate an unusual birthday. It would be polite to knock first. Knock knock! The guests have arrived! Oh my feta! Nothing is ready here! Where are the decorations? The cake? The presents? There must be at least something! Phew! Hail Tibby Daba, I found the decor! Well, since no one is prepared, I will arrange a party for our birthday girl myself! By the way, try to guess whose party it will be! Wow, what a beauty! So shimmery and shiny, looks like fish scales. With such a tablecloth, any birthday will be a hundred times better. There should be more decorations here. Well, of course! There is no party without balloons. Guys, do you like them? Give a thumbs up! Now the room is ready for the party. We can invite guests. Uh-oh! Wait, don't come inside just yet! I almost forgot about the most important thing, the cake! There are also plates. Oh, I wish Sam baked me the same cake for my birthday. The gifts are also already wrapped. Look how many boxes there are. Let's hide them under the table for now to surprise the birthday girl. <laughs> wow, what a big cake! Mom, swim here quickly! Wow, is this all for me? Happy birthday! Oh, thank you! It's so unexpected! Are you sure you want to wear this? Oops, it looks like I need to change. Just say the word. Stylish help from Sue is on its way. Come here. Well, let's start your transformation. We'll get rid of everything superfluous. Hair goes first. Then the top and the mermaid tail, too. We'll start from scratch. It will be something. The new dress will follow the shape of the tail. So let's circle it with a pencil. But instead of fins, let's draw a beautiful flying train. It will turn out great! We'll color the skirt first. <laughs> I'm gonna use pink, of course. What is a festive dress without bright decor? We'll use everything. The brighter the dress, the cooler. It's just amazing. But that's not all. 
Be sure to add a few bright accents. Finally, we can decorate the tail fin. Glitter complements it perfectly. The outfit is ready! Let's put it on right away, like this. We can't do without a new stylish hairstyle. Whoop. Just look how beautiful she turned out. Deserves a thumbs up. Well, now we can finally start our celebrating. <laughs> Everyone seems to like the new look. Wake up, Prince. For a festive mood, only party caps are missing. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, princess! And now let's have some cake. The first piece goes to the birthday mermaid. Today, everyone will get a piece, and maybe not just one. Mmm, <laughs> this looks so delicious. The most important moment has come. It's time to open the gift. Yippee! This is for you, mommy! I made it myself! Thank you, honey! Let's see what we have here. Oh, it's a card! Love, mom. Aw, this is so touching. Aww. What a happy mermaid family. <laughs> but we have more gifts. Let's open them, too. Buy the mozzarella. These are real diamonds. Well, now it's definitely the happiest birthday ever. But we want to celebrate, too. Can you help us, please? Of course. Lead the way. We have a lot of work to do here. But it's okay. I am not afraid of difficulties. Let's get to it. The decorations are similar, but differ in color. This birthday girl loves darker tones. Wow, black is always in trend. Maybe we're at a vampire mermaid's party. <laughs> Even a gothic party is not complete without balloons. Wow, this cake also looks insanely beautiful. Which party would you go for, light or dark? I would visit both. <laughs> Two cakes in one day, who wouldn't like that? Let's welcome the birthday girl. And here she is. Happy, Happy birthday! birthday! Woo! Yay! Yay! Oh, how unexpected! I'm not dressed! Your first gift will be a stylish makeover. So, miss, what outfit do you want today? Okay, all right. Mm-hmm, yeah. Let's start with the skirt again. The silhouette will be similar, but the design will totally differ. This time, I decided to lengthen the top and remove the sleeves. We can't do without black this time. I'm also gonna add some glitter and gems. <laughs> Wow, it turned out even better than I expected. Well, mermaid, you can't wait to try it on, huh? Let's do this. And your new hairstyle really suits you. Meet the birthday girl. Oops, looks like the prince is quite amazed. <laughs> exactly, don't forget to put on your party caps. Now let's get to the food. What do you think this cake tastes like? Maybe we better ask our birthday girl. Come on, try it. This is my favorite chocolate cake! So tasty! Can I have one more piece? Well, of course! It's your birthday! And here are the gifts! Well done for reminding me, little girl! Of course, the little mermaid will be the first to present her gift. And inside… It's a postcard! In our mermaid's favorite colors! Love, mom! What a beautiful gift! Ahem, we have another gift here, especially from the Prince Triton. Wow, that's a ring! How beautiful! The mermaid is clearly delighted. We were just at two amazing birthdays! Which one did you like better? Holy cannoli! It's too hard a choice, Susie! Oh, Sammy, you're already here! Would you like a piece of cake? Maybe later, not the paper one. <laughs> Let's see how to make this craft! Well, of course! We will show you all the secrets of this book. Friends, follow me. Phew! Susie, all done! Let's start assembling! And first comes the part where all the elements will be hidden. It's a big secret! We'll reveal it only to you, so watch closely. And this is what we've got! Look how many sections! Do you remember what's stored in them? Ooh! Hey, the book wasn't that narrow! Here, you forgot about the second half! I just knew you'd bring it! <laughs> so now everything is ready. Not really, I have a whole list of things to do. Well, let's see. Let's go down the list and start with air balloons. And I know what we will make them from. Air plasticine is gonna be perfect! Oh, it's true. Let's make balloons of different shapes. It's more fun. Aw, what a cutie! Susan, hurry up! They need to be tied before they fly away! Right. We've made these ropes from thin wire wrapped in thin paper. And to make the balloons even more festive, we'll decorate them! You're right, thank you! 
ready for a party. Phew! I have a problem. I'm so nervous that I can't draw a table properly. Let me help you. That's not too hard. Do you remember how we need to decorate the table? Yeah, a tool tablecloth. Let me just adjust it a bit. By the way, cool drawing. Phew, how much longer should I wait? Just another minute. Well then, I'll be right back. We're almost done. Oh, everything's cut out. <gasps> wow! Thanks, Sammy. Hail, Tibby Dabba! This time I guessed the size right! It's because you took all the measurements correctly. And now let's put the ready-made accessories here. Hmm, something doesn't add up. I've changed the order five times already. Oh, of course! Well, now you can make the garland. It will be easy. All you need to do is attach the letters to the ribbon. And hide it all in the right section. Ready. Hey, hey, where are you going? We still have stuff to make. Follow me already. Here's the chef's kiss for the Little Mermaid's birthday. And the most important in the cake are... Decorations! decorations. Well, 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 now let's see. I think something just went wrong. Well, to me, it just looks great. So, whose cake turned out better? Give a thumbs up for the pink one and subscribe for the black. Draw! Well, I at least have one. <laughs> let's cut the cake and celebrate. What? Hey, Sue! No way! The cake is a gift, so we'll put it right here. Oh, okay. Hide the plates too so they don't get wrinkled. All right, the cake is ready. Oh, but we missed the gift. Hey, no more. The paper is ready. Markers. Bring the markers, Susie. Did that. Now let's draw everything. We also have a separate section for the gifts here. Susan, wait. There's one more. Huh? What? So you didn't put yours in there either? Whoa, Give whoa. This way you'll wrinkle everything. Okay, now the gift from the mermaid's daughter is beautifully wrapped. Everything will be waiting here. Celebration's so close, but there's no furniture. Luckily, we only need a table here. We've already made the pink one. Now let's get to the dark one. There is only one thing left, but it's very important. A place for transformation. Yes, it's like a painting canvas. It remains only to fix the paper and a pencil in there. Take it. Remember, we need decor. That's why I borrowed some of Sam's treasures. <laughs> You said some, Susie. That's enough. You already took a lot. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's just put everything together. Hello, you two. Don't worry, girls. Soon we will update your wardrobe. Hey, wait, what? Let's start with their first outfits to appear on camera. The craft is finally ready. Shall we look at it one more time? While Sam is conquering the mountains of Tibidabo, I decided to draw him. But something went wrong. <laughs> so instead of Sam, I got this cat. I named her Kitty. Now Kitty needs a house, so it's time to draw it. I forgot to tell you, before leaving, Sam shared a bit of his slime speed with me. This will really come in handy in our craft. Check this out! Pop! Pop! Great! Oh, I almost forgot about the mirror! It's the most important thing in the dressing room! Bing! Much better! <laughs> I wish Sam was here! I really want to meet him! Don't worry, kitty! When he's back, you're gonna need him for sure! Is it just me or is there something drawn here? What are you hiding? Me? Hiding? Never! Better check out your beautiful bathroom! No, meow! I know for sure that you hid something! Tell me! Tell me! Um, okay, okay! Yes, I have a surprise here! Don't look yet! You'll see it later, I promise!
Kitty, do you like the colors I chose? It's you who is gonna live here after all. I like the hallway, but what about these rooms? Are they gonna stay like that? They sure aren't. Just watch how I'll be transforming this black and white picture into a bright room. Check it out! Your house is getting more colorful! Can you finish other rooms as fast as you did? Or you ran out of energy? Easy peasy! Watch and learn! <laughs> Phew! Now I'm tired! Sam didn't warn me that super speed is so exhausting! Where are other rooms? You're defo hiding something from me! <laughs> I just want our mini house tour to be a surprise for you two! And not just for the viewers! Would you look at her? And what's here? Come on, Sue! Spit it out! Shoo! Shoo! You're so impatient! Just like our Sammy! Oh, I already miss him! Look at your wonderful house! But that's not all! This way will define your needs at every moment! I'll put them here for now. Neil, so cool! What else is here? Tell me already! <laughs> Should I cover you with the box and leave you inside? Meow, no! I don't like closed spaces! Kitty, relax! It was just a joke! But I still can't reveal my secret yet! Okay, but don't prank me like that! And we can become good friends! Alright, then hide behind the door and we'll start playing! So shall we? Guys, we invite you to Kitty's house! And we are welcoming our guests! Today you will have a sneak peek at Kitty's life! Knock knock! Welcome the guests! Oh, you're already here! Hello everyone! Meow! Please come in! Come in one by one, guys! Please don't rush and take off the shoes! Welcome to my house! I'm always happy to have guests here! So, what is Kitty's morning routine? I always go to the bathroom first. How about it, Kitty? Great! I have an important business there, actually. And I can guess what it is. I'll help you with that. Here, you can come inside. No one will see or disturb you here. Thanks. Then I will leave you for a sec if you don't mind. Kitty is ready to proceed with our mini reality show. Yeah, but we're not done with the bathroom yet. Sure, you still need to take a shower or a bath, but we'll start with teeth brushing. Our kitty needs a little makeover. Here I am, meow! I didn't brush my teeth yet, so please excuse me. Don't worry, we'll make your teeth shine bright. Look how clean her teeth are! Guys, don't forget to brush your teeth in the morning, too. Now my breath is super fresh! I'm happy that you're happy! Now it's time to take a bath! Even though cats don't like water, I love a good bath! But you're not gonna bathe in your clothes, right? Let's take them off! Yay! <laughs> Warm water! I love it! Do you want to take a bath too? <laughs> I will skip it this time! But the ducky will be happy to join you! But my bathtub is too small! It can't fit everyone! Now, kitty, hold your breath! Or the soap will get into your mouth and eyes! Kitty, are you ready to proceed? Phew! It's so nice to be clean! I agree! But our journey doesn't end in the bathroom! So let's give our cat a moment and we'll move on! Kitty, I hope that you had enough time! Oh, your fur looks so fluffy now! We have to fix it! Let's go to the dressing room! Please follow me! Though I don't show this place often! <laughs> I guess you will need my help, though. Let me brush you now, all right? And we're ready for the next step. Let's do some makeup. I will prepare everything for that. Meow, my favorite part! I love makeup! Meow, guys, check it out how we're gonna do it. Sure, kitty. With such a surveillance, everything is going to be perfect. A little bit here. Let's make it brighter so the eyes look more expressive. Are you sure you're doing it right? I don't want any mistakes! Kitty, don't move! Or I will really make a mistake! And then we'll have to start all over again! Okay, okay! I want to be the most beautiful cat! I'll do my best, just like an experienced makeup artist! One move and a perfect eye makeup is done! Oh, I can become even more beautiful than Egyptian cats! Brrr. Which one to choose? I know! This is a perfect choice! 
Oh, this is scary. I hope the brush won't get into my eye. It won't. Don't worry. But don't close your eyes. Once, I blinked accidentally, so I had to redo the whole makeup. Okay, this part is done. Just the lower lid is left. Let's get to it! I used to think that cats are beautiful without any makeup. Of course! Everyone is naturally beautiful. But sometimes you want to add some accents. Check out how bright your eyes are now! Guys, give our kitty a thumbs up! What shall we do to finish the makeup? I will add some blush here and here, so everything looks symmetrical. There we go! I want to see how beautiful I am! <laughs> you remind me of Sammy. He also thinks that he's the most handsome one. Now don't talk, because I'm applying the lipstick. Here! <gasps> Oops! What? What? What is it? What happened? Uh-oh. Sorry. It's a wrong shade. Don't worry. I'll fix it in a second. I think this color fits better. Phew! I was right about the shade this time. This is a perfect choice for our makeup. Are you done? Can I look? Please, meow! You're just like Sam. <laughs> He's also very impatient. I want to add some stars to make your face shine bright. I'll be a super queen! But I need an outfit and a hairdo. Phew! Let me rest a bit. It's hard to be a makeup artist. We'll proceed in a second. Ooh, meow! Hurry up! Let's choose a hairdo for me! Okay! I'm totally in! Come to this side and we'll start! Hop! Perfect! Beep! Hmm. Nope. Not this one. I don't like it at all! You have other options! Beep! I think this hairstyle is a perfect fit. What do you say? I like it! Meow! Now I need a matching outfit! I agree. So shall we try some clothes on? Here we go! Meow, I'm so ready! Guys, are you with us? Give us a thumbs up if yes! We'll start with clothes. Let's try this outfit. We also need a hair accessory. Hmm, that doesn't look bad. Add more accessories! The style is about details! Okay. But it's not what we need. Let's redo. Oh, you're so serious. <laughs> Don't worry, I can make it. I have a perfect taste. You'll be the most gorgeous cat. Voila! Awesome! I have to say you did great! Thanks! Now I guess Kitty is hungry already. Shall we go to the kitchen? Here we go! It's time to change the location! Now let's see! Hop! And we're moving here! I'm so hungry! Oh, but there's nothing here! <laughs> okay! Then we'll do some food shopping! The supermarket is right here, in the house! Hmm, nice assortment and reasonable prices. We'll take some ice cream. Here we go. And this will be good for a smoothie. Let's put it here. Awesome! Smoothie? Brrr, interesting. Then you have to use the blender. Right you are. And that's just what I thought about. Now we have everything ready. Let's pour it in the glass. This is sure tasty. Come on, feed me already. Give me a sec. You will have as much food as you want. Mmm, nom 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 nom. Well, I hope you are full. We have one more thing left to do. Don't go anywhere just yet, guys. A busy day in our cat house is almost over, guys. Our kitty is really sleepy. So let's go to the bedroom. We have a warm and cozy bed there. I'm ready to rest. Meow. Good night, kitty. You have a wonderful house. Meow. Oh, guys, I'm so happy you were here with me today. Hi, guys. As you might have guessed, we are going to make yet another house today. And send the builders at your service. Should I uh, bring some mini bricks? Cement mixture? Uh, wood maybe? Huh? A ruler and a pencil are enough for now. <laughs> ah, we're beginning with a layout, that's why.
All right, I think this'll do. Now it's time for cutting. Wait! What are you… Why? Relax, Sammy. I know what I'm doing. Now, guys, watch closely. We'll fold this piece of paper according to the lines. First, we'll do it this way. Then comes the next fold. Like this. And one more. Diagonally this way. Pretty simple, huh? <laughs> Susan, is that some kind of origami thing that you're doing? How is that supposed to help me with my interior design thing? <sighs> Honestly, Sammy, you'd better master some patience. Besides, it'll be a very helpful people skill for your new job. Nothing, but I really like the choice of color! Finally, praise from grumpy <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> now watch closely. We're gonna glue these sort of envelopes this way, one by one. Note that the ones with openings should stay in the middle. Here comes the last one. <laughs> huh? Great. Holy cannoli! If you glued that one and then another one on top of it, I… I think I got it too! <laughs> Let's see if you're right. Wait, wait, wait! I want you to be surprised as well! Uh, bibbity, bobbity, surprabbity! Now go ahead! <laughs> wow! This is how we get ourselves a mini paper house! Yay! I got the right! Oh, wow! Guys, check out what Sammy's magic did to the walls! I love it! And if we go here, we can see this marvelous bathroom tile! <laughs> Don't you want to check out the hearts that I cleverly placed here? Now that's definitely a good start for an interior designer, Sammy. Guys, do you want to know what's next? Then stay tuned! Well, Sammy, we have four different rooms here. Where do you want to start? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh, stop! Let's make a perfect pink bedroom out of this one! There's no room without flooring, right? <laughs> It is more convenient to draw it on a separate paper sheet. La -da -dee. So, La -da -da. what's next, Sammy? Huh? Oh, sorry, Sue. I just thought that there's a rug in your bedroom and in my bedroom. Oh, and... hey! Sammy, this is a very beautiful rug. Am I right, guys? <laughs> Don't forget to get creative, people. Use any colors and designs that you want. When there's a bedroom, there should be a nice cozy bed, right? Let's make one right away. to hear that. Huh? So, now we're gonna make a few elements inside our house sort of… 3D looking. <laughs> That's why we need to make a few folds here. There we go. And then we'll just… Whoa! Did you make this psycho, Sammy? <laughs> yep, that was me! <laughs> well done! I totally forgot about it. <laughs> okay, what else do you think we could place in this room? I'm not thinking, Susie. I'm Check this out! <laughs> How cool is that? Give a thumbs up if you agree, guys! In the meantime, I'm gonna add a few cute details. Oh my feta, there's so much greenery in that room! But Susan, this is supposed to be my project, so do you mind? <laughs> if I arrange the next room all by myself, Oh, but I want to help you so bad. And I'm willing to carefully follow all of your instructions. Ah, fine. You can help me color all this. Oh, wow. Sammy, when did you only manage to draw everything? I have my superpowers. <laughs> Let's get started! Whee! Oh, everything's so bright and colorful! Um, what are you doing, Sue? I thought we need to cut this out. Isn't that right? Yeah, but we can do it way faster! <laughs> Watch and learn! <laughs> See, <told ya. laughs> and now let's deal with the rest! 
the flooring. Bathroom stuff. And check. Now the most important cozy things. I like this part so much. Oh. Oh, no one helped me. <laughs> well, Susie, what, what do you think? This looks absolutely perfect, Sammy. <gasps> and even this little door opens. So cool. Everything is so thought through. Even the little stuff. I like it. But we have two more rooms to go. I wonder how they'll turn out. All right, miss. The floor and the back splash are ready. You're good to go. Wow, thank you, Sam the Builder. You outdid yourself this time. But I wasn't goofing around either. Check out the nice kitchen set. Why don't we place it... Hmm... Right here. <laughs> no good kitchen can do without proper appliances. Right you are. Wait, wait, wait. There's more. <laughs> oh, Sammy. <laughs> here comes the kitchen hood. And a couple of decorative elements. Here. And here. <laughs> most important part of any kitchen? Hmm. Ah, a refrigerator, of course. Exactly! <laughs> Here, take it! Oh, wow! Let me see. Oh, but it's empty, Sammy. This can be right. Remember, the key to a successful interior design presentation is in making it all look real. Wow! Did you hear that, guys? What an insight! Mm -hmm. Don't forget to give a thumbs up to all interesting stuff you're learning! <laughs> All right, Sammy, I think we're done with the kitchen. And we have only this purple space left. Hmm, should we make a living room here? What do you think? Oh, it's like you've read my mind, Susie! Make way! According to TV Dava Space Zoning Theory, it's better to arrange the sitting area next to this wall. <laughs> now who am I to argue with that? <laughs> One nice couch. Check. Hardly somebody would want to live here without a TV set. Am I right? And I have a new magic trick for you guys. We'll do this. And voila! We've got ourselves a cute plant. <laughs> Doesn't it look like it just belongs here, guys? Uh -huh. Samuel the Great also wants to add his two songs. Are you? What are you waiting for? Move! Awesome! Guys, give a thumbs up if you agree! Let's add a few cute decor pieces to set the right atmosphere. Don't forget about the light! It's also very important! Okay, Sammy. Hmm, I think we're pretty much done here. Already? Oh, it's so much fun with this craft today! Then why don't we play with it a bit more, huh? With great pleasure! But not until the guys checked it out first! <laughs> Today we're going to make Casita, a magical house of the madrigals. We don't have to go to Colombia, though. All we need is cardboard. And now… And now I, Sammy the Greatest, will sing songs so that you can feel the atmosphere of Encanto! Where is your guitar or banjo or anything else? You totally need the musical accompaniment. I don't have any, but I can paint these pieces in five seconds! Count! Okay, one, two, three, four… Five, Sammy, time is up! Here I am! Everything is done! Now they look more like walls than just pieces of cardboard! Thank you, Sammy! Now step away a bit! This glue is hot! I don't want to burn you! Guys, be very careful at this stage! Watch out for your fingers! Check this out, Sue! I brought you an arch! I'm strong like Louisa Magical! You need it, right? Sure, Sammy! It'll be our passage to the courtyard! Our way to the fairy tale! While I'm busy making casita, think about decorations. I have enough colors here! I'll be your Isabella Madrigal! But Isabella made flowers, not colors, if I remember it right. And you need long hair then. Sue, 
you, I know that you got what I wanted to say. Take the windows for Casita. I was just kidding. I know that you want to make everything bright and colorful. And our entrance is almost done. What do you think? I think… I think you're tricking me! I don't see any magic inside! Be patient, we just started! And help me with the decorating! I know that you can do nothing without me! And I'm always ready to help! But promise that our casita will be magical just like in Encanto or like my house in Tibidabo! I promise. By the way, can you please tell me more about your house in Tibidabo? I suppose it contains some real magic and maybe it gave you some powers! So how did it do that? Just like Casita? With the help of a door handle? Or it had its own secret that nobody could reveal? I want to know everything! Of course I got powers from my house! But they can be used only in Tibidabo! Ugh. Why? Does Tibidabo protect its inhabitants from the world with the help of magic? Ugh, something like that! I knew that you were very smart, Sue! Thank you! Let's check out how these parts of the house will look together! Great! Now it's time to start making the little houses and towers. And I need your help again. You are the best decorator ever, you know! Sure thing, Sue! One friend of mine from Tibidabo has just the same greenhouse! And he's able to control the weather! Just like Peppa Madrigal! Stop! I need to bring you one thing! I hope it won't be a firework or some prank. I just want to finish the house. I recollected! That friend gave me these so I can invoke the sun! Sammy, I think you forgot that we're inside. We don't have the sun in here, just the lamps. Or are you going to leave them on forever? Check this out, all the parts look perfect together. We'll just add some pieces for future roofs. And that's it! I know that we're inside, but magic can't revive without the light! Okay, now we're going to make the part of Casita on the right side of the entrance. Wait, wait, butterfly, I need you! Show me the way! Show me the joy! Um, Sammy, where did you get that butterfly? And why are you catching it? Leave it alone! The butterfly is not your guide, it's just an insect! Better come here, I need your help. Who else will decorate the house? Uh, 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 okay, okay! I have a few minutes to help you! Bibbidi bubbidi subscribity! But I think this part of Casita needs more pieces! You should try better and finish it! Agreed! We definitely need a roof here! Now this part is done! You can be free! For a couple of minutes! While I'm making a pedestal for the tower, you can… Sammy, where are you? I've got yellow butterflies! Antonio helped me! They make people happy! Do you know that? Now I do! But I'm not going to catch butterflies to be happy! I just like watching them! It's so easy to distract you! The pedestal is not finished at all! Okay, Sammy, whatever you say. Show me what you mean! One, two, three! One, two, three! Let's decorate it! Check it out, Sue! Now it looks just right! Awesome! But while you were doing that, I finished the main part of the tower! Let's put these pieces together so that they become stable. Check this out, Sammy! I can do things without magic! Hmm, I want to add several more pieces to finish the tower. It's time for magic! Where can I put my door handle? Sammy, wait a bit. I'm busy making the tower where Bru- Stop! We shouldn't talk about Bruno. Who knows what can happen? But the tower should be done right. Otherwise, Grandma Elmo will be unhappy. If one day she comes to visit us, she'll see that we respect her. Okay, I'll wait until you finish and then I'll use this. Oopsie. When I was watching Encanto, I couldn't understand how Bruno's room fits inside. Casita is too magical for me, too uncomprehensible, and too complicated. Sue, so cut this wire into four parts, please. I have an idea. Okay. Besides, these clippers are sharp, and you shouldn't take them at all. Sue, so I think you're missing something. Those angles. Um, I don't like the way they look. I got it. Are you satisfied now, Sammy? Sue, the tower needs the top! Attach it to Casita! Whatever you say, Sammy. You know what the house should look like better than me. It fits Casita perfectly! Sammy, check it out. What do you think we've missed? Give me a couple of seconds! Sammy the greatest will mend everything! That's what a magical house should look like! Thank you, Sammy! Now it's my turn to work on Casita! Sue, wait! You're in a hurry! I haven't finished yet! Okay, okay, don't worry! Do whatever you need! Thank you! <laughs> One, two, three! Now it's all right! You can continue!
can use you. It's time to add a couple more touches. Stop! You forgot about the most important part! Without the candle, Casita can't exist at all! Right. I felt that I forgot something. Don't worry, Sammy. I'll make it in a couple of minutes. Hmm. This part should be pink, right? How could I forget about the house of your favorite color? I've made the candle with a special design! Not Casita's, but mine from Tibidabo! You didn't tell me that you had a candle in your house. Well, it's a secret, so don't tell anybody about what you'll hear now. Abracadabra! Everybody with powers in Tibidabo has a sacred magic candle! Wow, so interesting! The sacred magic candle, power, secrets… The more I learn about Tibidabo, the more I want to go there. Sorry, Sue. Very few people can manage to get there. I can't show you the way! What a shame! Well, at least I'll have this version of the house. Don't be upset, Sue! One day you'll get your powers too! And a candle! <laughs> Maybe I'm just like Mirabelle. My power is something special and simple at the same time. Great thinking, Sue! You're gonna need the candle in this window! Let me help you a bit. The most important part of Casita is done! The candle will give magic to everyone! You're right, Sammy! The candle house fits the whole construction perfectly! Now let's add the actual light source here! If you're our Mirabelle, then Bruno had a vision about you too, right? Maybe. <laughs> but this will be a secret between me and Bruno. Let's return to our casita. It's waiting for us. What do you think? Why don't we glue the roof for all the parts of our house? Holy cannoli! But Sue, this roof doesn't look like casitas at all! It needs… Shingles. I know. And I have an idea of how to make them. I wanted to try too, but it looks like I've done something wrong. What do you think? Sammy, you should have glued the shingles on the roof, not on yourself. Oh my feta! I think I've made an umbrella for a walk in the rain! Oops. Not a very good idea, Sammy. These shingles are made of cardboard. They'll get soaked. Forget about the shingles! You've made a great mistake! Where is the chimney? Don't worry. I remembered about that. You see? The roof of the house is finished. You can calm down, okay? Sue, wait! Where are the stairs? Just a second. We'll make it with the help of magic. Watch. The stairs are done! Cool, huh? We'll put it right here. Just imagine the magicals going up there to get their powers. Sue, so let's finish everything as fast as we can! Sure, Sammy. By the way, there are just several pieces left. Great! Decorations are my responsibility! Look what I brought! Cool! I didn't even think about that. You are so smart. I know! Give me a couple of seconds and everything will be ready! Shiver me jitters! This house looks just like mine in Chibidabo! Our floor is done. I think we need flowers. Isabel, bring them, please. Okay, Sue. I'll be your Isabel if you really want. <laughs> Check it out, Sammy. Our house is perfect. Just like Casita or yours in Tibidabo. Everyone. As you already know, Sam is no good as a real estate agent. Hey! Why are you calling names, Sue? <laughs> Let's see what kind of builder he will turn out to be. <laughs> Actually, I come from the most famous dynasty of builders in Tibidaba. Do you know? How interesting. We've built so many houses, but for some reason, I've never heard about that before. <laughs> this goes here. It's all because I'm very modest. Ew. Didn't mean to brag, you know! But another thing I learned about you today, Sammy. <laughs> now it's time for a little trick. One, two, three, four, voila! Um, Sue the Crafter, is that you? Yes. There's a letter for you from a certain slick swan. Here, take it, please! Hmm, I wonder what it could be. <gasps> wow, these are the missing textures! Uh-huh, still fully carved by me! And it's quite noticeable, Sammy. There's so much pink in here. <laughs> 
Well, since this is Sam's house, it should be visible from afar. Sam's house? Actually, I also participate in this grand construction. Oh, that's right. Then you can choose the interior decor. Oh, really? <laughs> well, this is to my liking. Let's go. Well, Sammy, what do you say? Will the dolls like this interior design? Oh, down, I got this! Uh, Sue, something else came up! What are you… Ouch! Wow, what's this for? Well, it turns out that I also promised to furnish the house. But don't worry, I have prepared the pieces. Did you know, huh? Well, you're in luck because I love working with mini furniture. Let's make the edges of this piece neater. Like this. Great. By the way, you also could do at least something. And I'm doing! Come on, don't get distracted. You will see. Oh, how mysterious. <laughs> well, the mattress is in its place. And our bed matches perfectly the color of the walls. You know that I have many alter egos, right? This is the gift from Sam the Seamstress. Whoa, Sammy, these are so pretty. Right, fellows? If you agree, give a thumbs up. And you were worried that I was a bum. Well, our nice bedroom can't do without a dressing table. Let's put it right here. Looks great. What else can your alter egos make? <laughs> here, look. Sammy the Carpenter has done his best with his spacious closet. It's amazing. But Carpenter Sue wants to add a little extra. Well, now everything will fit in here. <laughs> To me, kitchen is the most cozy place in any house. Let's make it functional. Put together the pieces of the oven door with a wire. And it will be able to open and close. Oh, you can only do. You're an engineering genius! And why is there so much surprise in your voice? By the same principle, we'll make a cabinet door. Everything is simple. I understand that this piece of furniture is angular for a reason. Yes, there will be a sink here. As soon as I figure out how to install it. You call the plumber. Ha <laughs> I'll do everything for you in no time. Ah, uh -uh. and the work is done, miss. <laughs> oh, you and I are just a dream team. Check out how I neatly installed the cooker. Let's finish this piece of furniture with a nice decor. I think we did great. The main thing here is to take all the measurements correctly. And this rack with shelves will look awesome on this wall. Oh, how many sweets can be stored there? Um, look out, Susie! I'm on my way! Whoa, that's lovely! And the table can be put here, for example. We almost forgot about, about the refrigerator. refrigerator! That's right, without it there can be no kitchen! Here we go. Well, I think we did really well. Now we need to finish putting up the walls here. And of course, from this side as well. And here's the banister. Safety's above all, you know. Give a thumbs up if you agree. And why is this garage left without a door? That's better. Now we're talking very handy. Oh, do you hear this? This must be our roof. Let me help. <laughs> Susan, there will be one more roof. Got it. Just a little more. And everything is securely in place! Excellent! Mission accomplished! <laughs> now that's a completely different look. I will add only one detail, huh? I can see how the tenants will drink coffee here in the morning and tea in the evening. Speaking of tenants, Susie, I can't understand. How will the dolls get to the top? By ear or something? Of course not. I'll show you something. We have never made such a letter before. This is the very first step. We'll do the rest of them just like this one. And each step will be different colors. Now I'll just make a neat edge. It turned out just perfect. Not really, Susie. Perfect is when it's like this. Huh? What? Wow, great move, Sammy. This is cool. Am I right, friends? Come on, people. Let's count how many steps there will be. <laughs> <laughs> I got 11. What about you? Ouch! All right, the steps can do without the perfect banister. Let's use some magic! And a finishing touch! Hey, make way! A staircase worthy of the best dolls! It's time to invite them to their new home! Stay tuned, everybody! Please 
Sammy and Lady Sam, the reality always keeps his word. We'll see about that. Where's the house? Are you ready? Susan, open it up. Pull up. <gasps> Whoa, Whoa, check, check this out. out. Wow. What a great balcony. And I always wanted a canopy like this. Oh, oh, thank, thank you, Mr. Realtor. We'll, we'll tell our friends to come only to you. Would you like a photo to remember the very first day in your new home? With pleasure. Oh, what, what a, a great, great idea. idea. Stand closer. And now let's say slick slime. Bip, bip. Watch out. Reverse motion. Be careful. I'm parking. Perfect. Wow, what a heavy basket. I have to be careful on the stairs. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, I just love all these colors. And the banister is just stunning! And the last step! So I should start with the kitchen! Let's see what we have here! A saucepan! It belongs right here on the stove! And here comes another one! And this is a place for kitchen utensils! On the rack, we will place plates and bowls! Oh, how great it turns out! Moving always makes me hungry! Hmm, I should cook something! Oh, so far the refrigerator is completely empty. But a quick run to the store will fix things easily. Now let's quickly cook a delicious vegetable stew. Huh? Ah, oh, smells amazing. Well, well, what have we here? So many beautiful outfits. Let's find a place for them. So that this beautiful dress does not wrinkle, let's carefully hang it on a hanger. Now we'll put it right here. Excellent! How nice to have such a spacious closet! Everything fits here and even more! This should be right in the drawer! Hop! And hop! <gasps> the view from up here is simply magnificent! But the balcony is kind of empty! Hmm, a potted plant will fix that! Let's add some water! <gasps> wow, that's what happens when a balcony is on the sunny side! Applying makeup here in front of the mirror every morning is a mere pleasure! Hmm. This wall is clearly lacking of cozy decor. <laughs> the most favorite photos of just beautiful pictures will do. Let's hang him a little asymmetrically. To me, it's the best. Wow, what a comfortable bed with a soft mattress. Oh, I feel like taking a nap. I haven't had time to see everything yet. What a wonderful mini garden. What else is needed for happiness? Oh, it's good to be home. I think we did great. Do you agree? Then how about a little room tour? <laughs> Let's go! Philosophers should know how to work with their hands. Hey, don't push me! I'll move away! Delivery service doesn't wait. Are we gonna start already? Sure! I wanna show you the best burger in the world! Then let's start the construction work. The restaurant is made of colorful, bright walls. Just one swift motion. And the first wall is ready. What's next? Here's the second wall. That way we'll finish quite quickly. Great job, Sam. Thanks, and I've just made a kitchen set. Awesome. Then we need to furnish it. Clay is the best material. Clay ghost is here. Ooh, Sammy. Guys, let's roll this into a clay ball. And then we'll squish it. We need a perfectly flat piece. Now let's add colors to the kitchen furniture. Here we go. Let me flatten that, Susie. Roll over here. You did so well that we have some leftovers over the edges. Let's carefully cut them out and keep going. And the last touch. What is a kitchen without an oven? Let's place it right here. Great. We couldn't make fluffy buns without it, for sure. That's right. And let's not forget about a perfect handle. Here we go. 
much better, do you agree? Make way! Freshly baked buttons are coming! You're right on time. Let's attach them to the oven. Whoosh! And it's done. Cool magic, Steve. We have enough space here, so let's fill it. And add some cool posters! Ugh, I'm so thirsty. Sammy, do we have something to drink? My new quote. Want something? Make it first! <laughs> what an awful phrase. I wouldn't become your follower. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, any restaurant has a fizzy drink dispenser, right? Let's make one too. Guys, do you like fizzy drinks? Then give a thumbs up. These are my all-time favorites. Do you want to take a sip? You've started taking orders and we haven't finished the dispenser yet. The first one is done. The other two will go much faster. And whoosh. Here we go. Everybody have a drink. I'll go first. Ah, so refreshing. Great! It's one dollar and tips are very much appreciated. What? Sammy, can I have a discount, please? Susie, get ready! I'm gonna teach you how to cook the best french fries. Bring that plastic thing from over there. <laughs> You're so bossy. Okay, what's next? It's obvious. Just roll the clay left and right like this. Guys, now it looks like one long french fry. So let's cut it into smaller pieces. It's the easiest french fries in my life. And it's so much fun. Fun and food. Two cores of my philosophy. Guys, sounds good, huh? Give a thumbs up if you'd follow it. What would you choose? Ketchup or mustard? Tough choice. I'd like some ketchup. First bite is yours, Sammy. Mmm, perfect crispiness and temperature. I'm so inspired now. I guess you're ready to make a new culinary masterpiece. Yeah, we'll finally make your first perfect burger. I'll decide the order then. First goes a fluffy bun with lettuce. And don't forget about tomato. Then goes a freshly cooked juicy patty. You won't get a single bite till we finish. Next is a slice of cheese. And the last is another half of the bun with sesame seeds. Mmm, so good. Not so fast, Susie. Business first, then the food. Oh, Sam, you're ruining the moment. I'm not. Come on, Sue, I'm waiting. Much better. Now, where should I put it? Here. Thank Tibby Dabba, I've made one more. Susan, have some patience. Ugh. It's so messy. Why should I clean here all by myself? If you made a mess, it's only fair for you to deal with it. Wow, Susan, you should become a philosopher too. Like I didn't know that. <laughs> hey, Mr. Slime Play-Doh, you have drinks cooling down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Shiver me cheddars, they'll lose all the bubbles! The emergency aid is on the way. How much time do we have? Till the fake ice starts melting. Whoops! So, uh, enough! Yeah, that sounds promising. Whoosh! And all of the pieces for the fridge are ready. Let's put them together starting from the shelves. Susie, look! The ice cubes are melting! Sammy, come on, I saw you step on it. See, she's no fun at all. Ugh. Guys, we should speed up. Seems like Sam made up something new. Here we go. Now we just need to fill it up. Yeah, looks empty. You're right. Let's do this. <laughs> My craft battery ran out. Help! Bring it on. Surely I'll help you. The grid goes inside the stove. We'll attach an electric cooker on top. And done. Thanks! I'm fully recharged and ready to eat some yummies. You didn't give me a small bite? Ah! B -b 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 it's all done, Susie. Let's set the table. First, we need to assemble the table. I'll glue its legs. And I'll do with chairs. A soft cushion is a must. Guys, the table is almost ready. Let's find the best place for it. Let's put it in the middle, and there will be enough space for the chairs. Sue, I've made four chairs for you, me, Fluffy, and even one of our rats can squeeze in. Hmm, and this foam paper noodle is for... what? Holy cannoli! I totally forgot about the backs of the chairs! Ugh. Breathe, Sammy. Let me help you. First, we'll add some glue. Here we go. Oh, perfect. And now we'll attach it to the back of the chair. Sue, isn't this 
the right time for some decoration. That's a great idea, Sammy. Susie, it's my treat for the best crafter! After me! Thanks. I'll taste it later, okay? It's so nice of you. I'm warning you, it won't taste as good later! What? What are these pillars for? Ugh. Why, Sue? For decorating the entrance, of course. Finally! All done for the guests! Guys, you're our first visitors. What do you think? Shiver me, Cheddars! Somebody's already stolen the food tray! Seems like the restaurant is already popular. <laughs> they can get in here and steal something else! Let's build a roof, then. Follow me. Let's bring it here. I'm on it. Guys, write that down. Stay on top and let others do the job for you. Sue, take this. Thanks. Here we go. Then we need to glue everything. Whoa! Always stay alert. <laughs> Not fair! You're a better trickster than I am now. Or maybe you need to forget about your philosophical stuff. Slimes don't give up, Susan. I'm gonna surprise you. Close your eyes. Okay, I'm ready. Is it a magic trick? Nope, just my new, uh, wisdom. Uh, it's kinda heavy. Oh no, my precious! Are you alright? Oh, that's a pretty big burger. Here's the tomato and a delicious meat patty. Yeah, I wanted to make a great reveal. What a bummer. Let me share my philosophy then. No matter what, your bestie is there for you. I've got your point, bestie. Now let's bring that thing to the top. Wait, this time let's put a stick through it to keep it steady. Ah, there we go. Woohoo! This burger looks so yummy. All we need is to finish the outdoor decor. Carefully, this way. Oh, it looks awesome. One more detail. All done. I wanted to say it first. Ha, <laughs> never mind. Guys, are you ready to check out the final results? Radio Tippy Dabo. Breaking news! A new burger restaurant has just opened right across the highway! Everyone is welcome! See ya! Radio Tippy Dabo. It'd be nice to have a snack. What an awesome burger! I'm sure Sue will like this one. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Check out what we've got here. An LOL surprise hairball series package? Cool. I didn't know we were unboxing today. We're not, Sammy. This is just one of our old capsules. Ah. And if you guys remember, here under the top cap, there's a hairspray container. We love LOL dolls. And it's especially great that they come in these awesome packages, which are also kind of a playset. Oh, yeah. Now give us a thumbs up, everybody who at least has one LOL doll. All right, Susie, let's get started. I have a hammer, and you got a drill. Chill out. There won't be any actual construction work. Oh. For starters, I want you to help me pick wallpaper. Hmm, I must say this color is not fashionable anymore. Okay, how do you like this one? It's brighter. No, no. Pink is too plain for that room, you know. And it will make our agent baby look pale. Okay, you know what? Then I want to hear your suggestions. With great pleasure. I happen to have everything here. <laughs> wow, Sammy, you've got exquisite taste. Oh, I really want to have this wallpaper in my own bedroom. Just say the word, Susie, and Roger and I will reconstruct your bedroom before you know it. Why don't we focus on our craft for now? Guys, you should be very careful here and don't rush so that there are no wrinkles on our beautiful walls. And of course, it is very important to use correct measurements. Your craft should always look neat. 
If you have trouble with cutting and gluing, remember that you can always ask an adult to help. All right, next we're gonna need foam paper. A little mirror, a few beads. Ugh, I'll just go get everything myself. Susie, are you sure you don't need my help? Okay, at this stage, glittery foam paper might really come in handy. Now this little piece goes here, and we've got ourselves a shelf. Hey Susie, I couldn't find a small mirror. Is this sticker any good? Hmm, I think we need something more sturdy. Don't worry, I'll ask Roger to help me adjust it. In the meantime, here's a cute dressing table. Now this wall looks a bit empty, right? Should we make a couple of extra shelves? Shelves are too boring, Susie. Wow, would you just look at this, guys? Sammy, this mirror is amazing. Although, we could add a few sparkles to it. <laughs> so, Sammy, if not the shelves, then what do you think we should make? A sink. What? Trust me, I know that it's better to have a sink at hand while doing makeup or a hairdo. All right, and what do you suggest we make it out of? This! It's one of the packages left from the LOL surprise playset. And you always tell me to throw stuff like this away. That's quite an idea. Guys, support our frugal slime with a thumbs up. Here we go. Carefully press a little. Great! Susie, we can make a water tap from the wire. And I even found a perfect piece, but now I don't know where it is. Strange. Where? I know. Right behind you. Ha, that always happens to me. By the way, I really like your idea. Let's just bend the wire this way to give it the proper shape. And now we'll just add this cute bead to make the whole thing look more real. That's right, Susan. This is just what I had in mind. Now, guys, I'm going to show you something really sparkly. Whoa, this is very interesting. That is a lot of glitter. And what's it all going to be, Sue? Interesting. You're about to see what. Let's take this off. And voila, a beautiful ottoman is ready. One of a kind. <laughs> and this addition will make it match the whole interior of our room. Wow, are you impressed, guys? I know I am. Don't go anywhere and you'll see more. Guys, now we will make a few accessories for me. I'm so excited. And we're going to use quite an unusual prop this time. That's right. Guys, these are the rubber parts of regular pens. Now we'll carefully cut one this way. And then we'll simply wrap it around another pen rubber piece, like this. And that is how hair curlers are made. Now let's take one more pen piece and cut it in half. Oop. Great. Next, we're going to use a piece of a glue stick and put these two together. This way, we'll get a tiny deodorant stick. Wow, guys, how cool is that? All right, now let's use one more rubber piece and a piece of a glue stick to make a mini version of the hairspray. A black marker will help us make this thing look real. You might also want to decorate your hairspray. Any beautiful rhinestone will do. Speaking of rhinestones... Uh, Susie, check out this cool perfume bottle that I made! Just look at this, guys. I bet there's a Slick Slime signature fragrance inside. <laughs> Let's place it here. And this is a custom-made scent by Sue. <laughs> How about something sparkly, huh? That's a great idea. Guys, this way you can make pretty much anything that you want. Before you use pens for your craft, make sure that nobody needs them to write something down. Or you can use some old pens that aren't fit for writing anymore. This way, your craft will become eco-friendly in a way. Shiver me shatters! What happened, Sammy? Oh, I just spilled some glue all over myself! But don't you worry, Sue, I'm fine. I can see that! <laughs> and you actually gave me one more idea. Our doll might also need paper towels. To me, that's the world's coolest idea for a dollhouse. Do you agree with me, guys? Then you should give us a thumbs up. Well, everything seems to be in its place. Let's see what Agent Baby thinks of all this. Just remember, you are free to tell us if there is anything that you don't like about your new room. 
deal? Then let's do this. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Sammy, I think she's ready to share. Right? Uh-huh. She says that this room is just like what she saw in her dreams. But... But, so you see, she isn't sure that her current hairstyle allows her to use all these props. Well, of course. How could we forget? Check out what I have here. Our doll will look more beautiful than Rapunzel with this. But first, let's make a couple of adjustments to your makeup, sweetie. And Grandmaster Samuel is back again. What can I fetch you? A makeup brush or a paintbrush? Actually, I already have everything that I need. Nail polish too? Seriously? And a little bit of glitter. Just look how beautiful this color is. We'll sprinkle it on our doll's eyes and they will become very sparkly. Oh, how come I guessed that wrong? All right, Master Samuel. I'll take this. I help. This way, we'll get rid of the extra glitter from her face. Ooh, and check out what I did with her belongings. Wow, these shoes are glittery too. I just love them. I'm sure she will look gorgeous in this dress. Brilliant! Now we can finally deal with her hair. Let's use some magic. Voila! Oh, she's so beautiful. And I love that she has such long and soft hair. Guys, our renewed agent baby here is ready to look at everything that we made today. Hi guys, today we're gonna make a miniature dollhouse. It's very easy because the special kid will help us. Not so fast, Mr. Smarty Pants. This won't be an ordinary house. We'll make it in the Animal Crossing style. Wow, Sue, so this is awesome! This kid has all the details and the instructions needed for a workshop. That's right. Don't worry, guys. The process of remaking takes a while, but it's not hard at all. We'll eat all the details, paint some of them to make an effect of rust, add some moss. It's very interesting. You'll see for yourself. Let's start with the floor. Instead of using a print from the kit, we will lay it out with wooden tiles. Sammy, while I'm busy, could you please start aging the details? Oh, that I can do! <laughs> so, I'm almost done! But considering your speed, I didn't have to hurry. Oh, Sammy, I wanted to suggest something cool to you, but you're so mean. And here I thought you liked just the floor color. Oh, I wanted to lend you a hand, but you always give me the toughest test. Ugh, oh, maybe blue or red? Oh, my fat, I like the green and the white, too! <laughs> we can use them all. No need to choose if it's too hard for you. I guess even the guys have already learned by heart how many species you're gonna grow here. Actually, Sammy, I really like your idea. But it's not so easy to take care of different plants. There's so many conditions to consider. The right temperature, humidity, the amount of light… And a place to put them! That's why the first comfortable shelf is ready! Oh, I didn't even have to ask! Looks like you're really enjoying making this craft. Sure thing! It's so nice to run the household! Oh, really? Then why do you always try to skip your chores, hmm? Do you have anything to say about that? Um, uh… Oh, Sue! Look! Another show! I really have no idea who made it! <laughs> Actually, I know that. I recognize the master style. It seems this work of art is your doing, Sammy. <laughs> no time to investigate, Sue! Plan delivery is almost here! Oh, here they are! I guess he wasn't kidding about a hundred species. Let's arrange the flowers before we can take care of the greenhouse itself. We'll secure every object with adhesive tape. Hey, Sue, look! I'm starting things just like an Animal Crossing! Guys, have you ever played this game? 
Give us a thumbs up if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I bet everybody at least heard about the game. You play as a little human living in a village inhabited with animals who look like humans. And you can do many cool things. Fishing, bug catching, fossil hunting, and house building. <laughs> you probably wonder what's so interesting in a game that looks so much like real life. Well, I know a guy who can explain it better than anyone. <laughs> um, there are at least three reasons. First one, I doubt very much that in reality you'll manage to find a wonderful village with animals like there are in Animal Crossing. The second one, every series, and there are many of them, has a unique style, which you look at this. And the third reason, in reality you'd have to spend months to build a house, but in this game it's much faster. Sounds impressive, isn't it? It's because Siemi is a real expert in video games. And that's the last detail. Oh, it came out so great! I really didn't expect that! We've just started, Sammy. Stay tuned, guys, if you want to see the final result. Um, Sue, listen, don't take it personal, but the greenhouse without a roof and the walls is kind of not working. Oh, don't worry, Sammy. I was just about to work on that. Guys, don't forget about safety while working with sharp objects. They're not a toy. It's better to ask an adult to help. I always entrust Sue with a job like this, and she's doing it great! Now we need to carefully remove the protective film. And then make a shape by gluing the edges like this. There we go. Ahem! Sue, I just checked the instructions and they say you need this piece at this stage! <laughs> Thank you, Sammy. Right on time. I've prepared the walls beforehand so we don't have to waste time. We'll just press the edges like this. And put the wall right here. See? It's not hot at all. Um, Sue, so I've been wondering what's the difference between a greenhouse and a winter garden? Oh, that's easy. I'll explain. The main difference is in their function. There we go. Great. I don't get it. People need them both to grow plants, don't they? Weird. Thanks for this piece, Sammy. In general, yes, you're right. Aha! Uh -huh. But people grow different plants, you know. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, like flowers! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, guys, we've already painted the beams with black paint, so now they will fit our Animal Crossing style better. So if I clearly understood, it's more comfortable to grow vegetables in the greenhouse, but exotic flowers in the winter garden. Exactly. Now, check out what we've got. So, would you mind if I test my greenhouse magic? <laughs> now all we have to do is make the right lighting. Let's do this. You won't regret it, I promise. Guys, we've already built so many awesome houses in different styles. You know where to find them. On our channel. So in case you haven't watched those videos yet, you definitely should. So, Sammy, do you think we need to test the light? I'm ready! One, two, uh, Hey! Who turned off the light? Wow, it looks so cozy! Alright, Sammy, let's proceed. Oh? Is that Sam's new magic wand? Interesting. Guys, close your eyes. Whoa, guys, would you look at this? As I clearly remember, that was not included in the kit. I love our remaking. Even conjured the rust. Oh, see, I feel like I'm inside the game. Now I want to examine every inch of our craft. Sammy, you have to wait. We're not done here. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, guys, I'm so excited. Here we go. So what are you doing? Why didn't you wait for me? I thought you said you wanted to have a pond. That's why I decided to make this special platform as a surprise. Huh? Just a bit more of epoxy resin. Besides, the platform is like a finishing touch. It will make the whole craft look complete. You remembered about the pond? Of course. How could I forget something that my best friend considers to be important? Actually, your best friend didn't waste time either. The great master of decoration made his main masterpiece. And it looks so good. I love your decor ideas. Let's place our house right here. And here's Sammy's tree. <laughs> I bet you'll be totally smitten. Check out this awesome man. 
good macarons! You even make tiny apples! So cool! Can you use the fishing rod? Um, I don't want to fall into the water! <laughs> Sammy, it's not real! But it looks very real! <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew, it's a great idea! What do you think about mine? <laughs> Voila! <laughs> oh, finally I can inspect my property! After you guys, let's take a look at our adorable house. Hey guys, Sam and I were playing Luigi's Mansion here. Did you like our little cosplay? And we've realized that we were missing the most important prop, the mansion itself. So let's create it. We'll start with polishing the foundation of the house. And I will take it upon myself to clear the place of ghosts, I mean dust. We need to make a small hill so that the house can be seen from afar. will help us with the house. And that's it. This is going to be the perfect place to create a haunted manor. I agree, but be careful. The ghosts could run away. Are you sure you can catch them all? Huh, Sammy? Check this out, Sue. I already made one. Uh, I, I mean, I, I've caught one. <laughs> Hold it tight so that the ghost doesn't fly away and take you into the painting. <laughs> In the meantime, I'll make a fence to trap the ghosts inside. Work hard, Sue, and I will drive the ghosts into a corner with these arrows. Why don't we make a fence ornament out of them, huh? Check this out. And now let's start creating the house itself where the ghosts will be waiting. Hey, come back quickly! I'm a cat, you! Luigi, the ghost hunter. And I also know some ghost magic. Whoosh! Holy cannoli! That's it! I've got the ghost, just like a Luigi! Did you know that many ghosts hunt for treasures? Ghosts won't be able to find mine. I'll hide them well. Do uh -oh. help me with that, please! Sure, and I'll borrow a few pieces from you to decorate the house, if you don't mind. count on that. I'm not a ghost and I won't take anything extra. I promise. Up. Here, look at that. The ghost stole my toy house. All that's left is the door. The door? Great. We could use it for our mansion. Boom. What if the ghosts jump out like that and drag this house away too? Don't worry, Sammy. Why would they steal it? It's already made especially for them. Okay, okay. I agree. Maybe when the house is ready, they won't want to leave it at all! Sammy, you've already covered it with glue? Well done! We just need to open the passage for them through the windows and doors! That's awesome! Every spooky house should have a roof with an attic. This one will do. What? But I'll get it back. I got it. And look, the ghosts have added some details to it, too. Phew, how hard it is to run after ghosts. But they definitely want their house to appear as soon as possible. So I guess we can count on their help with our craft. What do you think, Sammy? I think that my new hair looks awesome. I need this. Hey! 
I'm gonna glue these to the roof. There we go. Great. You know, Sue, I'm tired. Ooh, I'm gonna go take a nap. So have a rest then, and afterwards, we'll move on with our craft together. Our roof needs shingles, and of the most sinister kind. Megan, go on. In the meantime, I'm going to catch some ghosts. Maybe you'd better help me with turning this strip into these? Easy peasy! That's it! Take it! There's enough for the whole roof! Whoa! And even more! Did you know that glass can protect from ghosts? I've just bought a few pieces. Great! Give it to me, please. No, no, no! Come on, Sammy! Ugh. Wait! I've made friends with ghosts! They will help us now! Look at this! Ha-ha! You're right! The ghosts did a great job. I mean, you did. <laughs> I'll just add a few spooky details so that no one falls off the roof. Poof! <laughs> Do! I ran into ghosts! Look at me! They laugh so hard! Why? Ha! Ah! They were just kidding, but this is the perfect door to the mansion. The guests are at the front door. Hmm, exactly. We need windows to see what's happening inside. I can create them out of nowhere. Abracadabra. I'm a ghost, too, and I can help you. <laughs> wow, but something is missing. Look here. Maybe some decorations? I'll put them in place. Time to use my magic wand. One, two, three. And you really are a wizard, Sammy. Our house is ready for further action. Here we go. It's time to visit our haunted house. Ta -ta -da -da. Hey, why can't I come in? That's the rule. You can only come into a haunted house if the ghosts will want you to. Ooh. That's an idea. Ghosts, arrange the steps for us in the best possible way. Sue, do you want to add some trees? Of course. How could I forget such a simple thing? But the ordinary trees won't do. We need trees from the other world, like these ones. So now look to the right, look to the left. Here you can see the best haunted mansion ever, people. The trees are ready too. It's time to move on to the next stage. Wait a second, we are missing something. How will the ghosts recognize their home from afar? I have an idea. Great! Check these out, Sir Sherlock Slimes. They are not visible from afar. Ghosts will fly by. These beads will be our lantern. We only need two openings. And now, let's put the lights back in their places. I still don't get why you've made all this. You'll see everything later. Let this be some kind of surprise. <laughs> I hope new ghosts will come from this white swamp. What do you think, Sammy? Wonder if ghosts will leave traces on it. Let's check that. Sammy, be careful. They can trick you and you'll fall into a trap. Now we need to mark the places where our trees will stand. Oh, and I can also turn this piece of foam board into gravestones in one motion. All done. So, what do you say about this color, Sammy? I'll say that I'm going to paint the house together with the ghost. That way we'll finish faster. Yeah, I have no doubt about that. Super fast slime and the ghosts team. The Luigi's Mansion is a bright. Sammy, this is great. You really did your best. I'm so proud of you. You're the best. We only need to secure a few pieces, like these pipes and a chimney. Sue, everything looks too civil. It doesn't look much like the territory of a haunted house. Hmm. Patience, my friend. We're just about to add some dirt. The ghosts prefer to live only in old houses, or the ones that look old. We need dirt for that effect. Sue, I'm sure I 
saw a ghost, and it approved the design. I wouldn't doubt that, but let's enhance the effect. Yee! Sue, the ghost taught me how to fly! Whoa, how fun! And I will help you with the dirt! Now we can put the trees back in place, as if they grew here. Ghosts also like graves that grow like plants. I think we need to add some more greenery. Here, I've brought some. Great, Sammy. Let me just cover this area with some white glue. And then we'll just sprinkle it with moss and old dry grass, like this. And I'll sprinkle it here. The more the merrier, I, I mean spookier. <laughs> oh, we need more details. Now it looks like our house rose from the swamp. So cool. I'm gonna just add a little bit of paint here and there. Perfect. Sammy, check it out. Looks awesome, right? You forgot something. The lighting. No, Sammy, I have a different idea. Here, I'll use my magic. Boom. Whoa, it came out great. What would Luigi's mansion be without Luigi? Exactly. Our mansion is ready. The ghosts can have their housewarming party. Doing. The cats are inside this box. Hell, Dibba Dabba. I was almost ready to multiply Fluffy for no reason. <laughs> we'll be working with tiny wooden cats only. They're so lovely. Wow. I like this one. I want to see its true colors. Check this out. The cat's red and white and also has a cute little collar. Let's glue the back side too. And also, I have a treat for a first kitten. They like fish, right? There you go! Now he can stand gracefully on any surface. I guess. I'm sure this cat will attract the others. Let's see! Look! That one's playing! And that gray fluffy ball is sleeping! So adorable! Soon they'll be moving to a new comfortable condo. Oh, I hope they love it! tiny house. <sighs> if only it were a bit smaller. Let's add this weaving texture to make it even cozier. Huh? And here is a small reminder that it's a cat house after all. Fresh tuna! Canned salmon! Anybody? No one? Then I'll eat everything by myself. No way, mister. Save it for the kittens. They need some treats, you know. You can leave canned food inside the condo. The construction has already started. Okay, but if it goes bad, I'm not the one to blame! Ouch! Hey! You started a real fight! How dare you! <gasps> Sugar me chatters! That's a perfect fit! Let's just add a cute addictive toy here! The home decor is finished! Fluffy residents can move in! <laughs> Not so fast! The furniture designer hasn't finished the interior yet! Let's put the cat food inside the house too, right next to the entrance! By the way, here is the doorway! Where will we place it? This would be the best spot! One entrance is not enough though, here we go! Do you want a scratch? I can give you this post at the best price today! Wanna trade? This wooden house just came from my crafting studio! You're telling me it's a comfy house? Get the scratching post and give this to me! 
Guys, now we have time to spare. Let's get the facade done. Check this out! Any cat would love living here! Really? I've made something to prove myself. Now it's a tree condo! Holy cannoli! This would be perfect for cats that love climbing! We'll also have the second floor for them. It's a whole other room! This is a small hint for the interior. Guys, stay tuned! Meow! Sammy, is the roof ready? We want to go home! You know, I decided to live in this condo myself! <laughs> You're so greedy, Sammy! You have your own house already! So what? The cats also have their cat cafe, remember? Oh, right! Guys, you can check out the cat cafe craft on our channel! It's awesome! Whoa! Phew! It's an artificial window! What a relief! Our condo will have big windows! The cats enjoy looking outside! Or they're like secret agents who monitor suspicious strangers! I'd love to join a secret spy cat's team! Guys, what about you? Ugh, ugh, it's too high for a small slime! Susie, give me a lift! Only one passenger! Sorry, Sammy! What a nice vertical window! We certainly need a balcony here! Will a window still do? There's enough space for a cat to walk on it! I guess I've already found someone who's gonna show us their catwalk! Here she is! But now she just wants to chill here! The spy kids want sunlight too! Can you find a place for it? Sure! There is room for both cats and plants! And one more! These violet flowers have the nicest scent! Don't worry, kitty! I'll get some fish snacks for you! Ah! Check this out! This black scoundrel has just caught a big fish! And I've lost my precious hat in the battle with this! <laughs> that fish seems to enjoy your company! It doesn't want to go! Ah! No! Get lost! This is my... Oh, thanks, Sue! Oh, we have a new toy! <laughs> Just in time! Cute cats, soft paws, and fish lovers live here! And thrill seekers! Beep beep! You have a delivery! Wow, it's a slide! Who wants to take a ride? We'll build it right on the lawn! Woohoo! The first kitty is sliding now! It looks so happy! And that one's nagging like, hey, I want to slide too! Let's see the other side! Oh, here is the plumbing already! The lime plumbers are the best! Call me if you have any troubles! Now we can decorate the wall! Flowers always come in place! Gardening service! Where should I plant a tree? Bring it under the window, please! But why is it bare? It's an endless summertime here! Oopsie! The delivery service must have mistaken it with a window tree! Don't worry, I have a special watering can for such cases! Let's get ourselves an evergreen tree! So cool! That was awesome! Will it help these babies to grow bigger? Nope! By the way, we're looking for a gardener, so you can come in handy! Our garden has finally blossomed! Check out these flowers! Do you know where the most amazing view is? On the roof! <laughs> I see you've already prepared a comfy lounge zone for our cats! Here is the perfect spot for it! They'll see everything from here! Susie, check this out! This one wants to go to the top! Right! Let's try not to wake him up! And this will entertain the cat later! Sweet dreams! I stole a star from the sky for my kitty! Fetch it! Awesome! Let's attach a railing so the star doesn't run away! <laughs> Welcome to the cat's TikTok house! We're gonna run the world! <gasps> Susie, I just remembered! We can't miss them! Who are you talking about? Are we waiting for someone else? I'm talking about the thieves! They're really sly and sneaky! Then we'll be prepared! Let's make a fancy fence! Okay, but we should hurry up! They can appear any minute! Hmm? Huh? <laughs> I'll do my best. Guys, let's look out for the cats and for our Sammy, too. What, me? I'm totally fine. Yeah, I can see that. Let's speed up a little. All done. Sammy, you're a natural gardener. You've grown new plants. Yep, and I've made a road sign. Now everyone will know it's a cat house. Yeah, it wasn't that obvious before. <laughs>
And done. The fence is protecting the house. Just half of it. It's more of a decor fence right now. You forgot that our cats have sharp claws. Don't worry. Here is our security. He won't let any strangers enter. They'll be defeated by his cuteness. <laughs> All we need to do now is to add coziness to our small condo. What is still missing? Cat food! This fellow is very hungry. I found the best place for him. Here, bon appetit. This shade will protect our cats from the sun. Now you're talking! A new fence and decor for our housewarming party. It's perfect. Not yet. Susie, do you want to use your magic watering can again? Sure. Let's see what will grow in the garden this time. <laughs> Sammy, what is this? You look like a live map. I'll add just a few final touches. And then I'll give you guys a house tour. 